3D reconstruction is a fundamental problem with many applications in graphics and vision. It is usually done using optical scanners, but these require suitable environment and light conditions. Alternatively, 3D reconstruction can be done using inertial sensors, which measure the local orientation of the shape. In this thesis, we explore a new acquisition setup using a dynamic device containing a single inertial unit. This allows us to reconstruct a richer family of shapes than previous approaches with static devices. The main challenge of shape from sensors is that the sensors do not measure positions. Instead, they measure the orientation, and the positions need to be reconstructed by combining the orientations with distances between samples. In our framework, a sensor-instrumented device is moved along a network of curves on the surface, and we record orientations, distances, and curve intersections. However, trying to compute the positions by direct integration of the measured orientations is futile and will result in a network with incorrect topology. This is because the orientations are noisy and inconsistent, which is clear from the gaps between curves in this visualization. To deal with these issues, we propose a new filtering scheme for computing smooth and consistent orientations from the acquired data. Our filtering is based on smoothing splines, which minimize a weighted combination of stretching and bending while approximating the input. We use a generalization of this approach to curved spaces, since the orientations live on a Riemannian manifold. By working directly in this space, we can easily include the constraints for consistency of normals at intersections. The weights lambda and mi explicitly control stretching and bending of the orientations, but implicitly also stretching and bending of the reconstructed curves. Instead of direct integration of orientations, we formulate the computation of positions as a Poisson problem, naturally resolving the issue that the filtered tangent field might not be integrable. Our discretization of the Poisson equation produces a well-connected network by design. The last part of the framework is a new surfacing algorithm that not only interpolates the computed curves, but also the normals extracted from orientations. Starting from a network with normals, we first detect and tessellate the individual cycles. We then propagate the normals from the curves to the whole mesh and use them to estimate the mean curvature which guides the final optimization. Here we use an energy which relates the unknown positions with the known normals. This energy is minimized subject to positional constraints along the input network. Our method produces visually smooth results, even with networks that do not follow curvature directions on the surface. Thanks to the use of normals, our surfaces do not contain linearization artifacts and tend to preserve the symmetry of the input data. The algorithms run at interactive rates due to our use of discrete representation of the geometry. The user can tweak the weights and instantly see how the reconstructed surface changes. We have evaluated the framework by scanning the cone and the lilium, both of which were fabricated from known ground truth models. The error of reconstruction was less than 1%. A major advantage of our approach is its generality. No special device is required for data acquisition, making it accessible to everyone with an ordinary smartphone. Even though originally designed for reconstruction of physical objects, our framework can also be used to sketch new shapes directly in 3D. Thank you for watching.